Good morning grade 10, this is Miss Teresa. This video will discuss the answers and solutions of the standardized test on sound which you have already received. I hope that you've already answered it on your own before watching this video. So let's move on. Question 1. How does sound travel from its source to your ear? So the answer here is A. Let's circle that, please. Letter A. Why, why is it letter A? Because sound waves, um, they do compress when, when sound wave travels, let's say from left to right, what they do is that they compress air. So the waves will look like this, um, series of rarefactions and compressions. And in here, the compressions, this part where the lines are close together, this is called your compression. Okay, in this case, this is where the sound waves are compressed together air particles are compressed together therefore the pressure is high okay so the only sensible answer here is letter a by changing the air pressure question two paolo is listening to classical music in in the speakers installed in his swimming pool a note with a frequency of 327 hertz reaches his ears while he's underwater what is the wavelength of the sound that reaches pa Paolo's ears? Use 1,493 meters per second for the speed of sound in water. So let's analyze this. We have this first given. It's in hertz, so we know that that's the frequency. Frequency is equal to 327 hertz. And then we have another given over here, which is 1,493 meters per second. And that's the speed of sound in water. So we'll denote it as V, 1,493 meters per second. We are looking for wavelength. Okay, there's a relationship called V is equal to lambda F, where V is the speed of sound, lambda is the wavelength and f is the frequency we're looking for wavelength therefore we have to rearrange the uh, formula it will be lambda is equal to v divided by f now we are going to substitute our given the v is 1493 divided by frequency which is 327 using your calculator you'll be able to solve that um the wavelength here is 4.565 its wavelength therefore it should be in meters and uh, we need to change our answer to two significant figures so uh, three significant figures 4.57 meters is our answer which is letter d question three the sound from a trumpet travels at 351 meters per second in air if the frequency of the note is 298 Hz, what is the wavelength of the sound wave? So similar problem to the previous one, question number two. The first given is the V. V is equal to 351 meters per second. And then this one, 298 Hz, is the frequency, 298 Hz. We're still looking for wavelength. Wavelength is equal to V divided by the frequency. So substituting, we have 351 divided by the frequency, which is 298. Moving along, we have, use, uh, if we use our calculator, we will be able to get the number 1.177 meters. Now we want three significant figures for our final answer. So our lambda will be equal to 1.18 meters which is letter c question four the horn of a car attracts the attention of a stationary observer so let's highlight that stationary observer it means that if the observer is stationary the vd is equal to zero meters per second because the observer is the detector all right if the car is approaching the observer at 60 kilometers per hour so that's the v of the source okay because the car will be producing the sound therefore that's the source vs is 60 kilometers per hour km per hour if we're going to um 
convert this to meters per second, it will be equal to 16.67 meters per second. All right, and then the horn has a frequency of 512 hertz. Okay, so that's the frequency of the source because it has been produced by the car and that's the source, so that's FS, 512 hertz. What is the frequency of the sound perceived by the observer? We're looking for the frequency heard by the detector. And we have another given, use 343 meters per second for the speed of sound in air. So V is equal to 343 meters per second. All right, so first and foremost, we have to discuss the convention, sign convention of the observer, the V of the observer, and the source. Okay, so let's say, for example, that this is our observer. This is our detector. Detector. And then we have the car as this is our source. Okay, this is the, our car. And if the car, the source, this is our source, if the source is approaching the detector, the sign will be positive. If the source is going away from the detector the sign of the v will be negative okay v will be negative so that's our convention all right so um in this case vs is positive if it's going to the vs is positive if it's going to the detector vs is negative if it's going away from the detector all right so, applying our Doppler effect formula, Fd is equal to Fs multiplied to V minus Vd over V minus Vs. Okay, so in this case, our 16.67 is positive because it is going towards the detector. Okay, Fs is equal to 512 multiplied by 343 minus VD is 0, divided by V, which is 343 again, minus 16.67. Okay, using your calculator, you'll be able to get the value 538.15 hertz. And uh, we need three significant figures according to the given in our problem. Therefore, we will only round this up to 538 hertz. And that answer is letter C. Question 5. As shown in the diagram below, a car is receding at 72 km per hour from a stationary siren. If the siren is wailing at 657 Hz, what is the frequency of the sound perceived by the driver? Use 343 meters per second for the speed of sound. Okay, for this problem, our V, D, and Vs we'll talk about the sign convention again so let's say for example this is our um, detector the person who is listening to the sound detector and in in this case we have our siren which is the source of the sound this is the source and it's stationary this time okay so in this case if the detector is going away from the source okay the v D will be positive. If the detector is going towards the source, the VD will be negative. So that's our sign convention. Okay, we're going to list our given in the problem. The 72 km per hour is, um, what is that? The VD, the detector. Why? Because in the car, the person is there and he's the one to listen. So he's the detector. VD is equal to 72 kilometers per hour if you're going to convert this to meters per second it'll be 20 meters per second okay and then our vs since it's stationary stationary siren it says there therefore it's not moving the source is not moving therefore it's zero meters per second we have 657 hertz that's our source Okay, Fs is equal to 657 hertz. Okay, we are looking for Fd. Fd is unknown. Okay, we will use the Doppler effect formula. 
and then V, the speed of sound is still 343 meet, meters per second. Okay, applying our formula, FD is equal to FS multiplied 2V minus VD over V minus VS. Okay, we will plug in our given. FS is 657 times V is 343 minus VD is 20 meters per second. In this case, it's positive. Why? Because the detector is going away from the source. This is our source. Okay. And then divided by 343 minus 0 because the siren is not moving, it's stationary. Okay, using your calculator, you'll be able to get the number 618 hertz. 618 hertz has three significant figures. The lowest significant figure in here is 2. 72 has two significant figures, so we are going to round this to 620 to get two significant figures only. So this answer is letter B. Question number 6. Reba hears 20 beats in 5.0 seconds when she plays two notes on her piano. Okay, so if you play two notes on any musical instrument, and uh, you will be able to form beats. Okay, so she's certain that one note has a frequency of 262 hertz. What is the possible frequency of the second note? Or what are the possible frequencies of the second note? So, we're not so sure about the frequencies of the second note. It, we could get a range of frequencies. So, the frequency 1 that she knows, that she's sure that she knows, is 262 hertz. We're looking for the frequency 2, the other note that she played. This is unknown. But, there... Uh, she hears, according to the problem, she hears 20 beats in 5 seconds. So the number of beats, number of beats that she heard is equal to 20. 20 beats. And that time period that she heard it is 5.0 seconds. So if we are going to solve this, the frequency of this, the heard frequency, she heard a frequency of 20 beats Per five seconds so heard frequency is equal to 20 beats in five seconds 5.0 seconds so the frequency that she heard of the beats is equal to 4 Hertz so this is our uncertainty okay the 4 is our uncertain uncertainty so the f2 could be between uh, 262 plus or minus 4 hertz so if we add 262 plus 4 we will be able to hear uh, 200 uh, 262 first minus 4 that will be 258 hertz the lower limit and we'll be able to hear if we add 262 plus 4 it's 266 hertz so those are the possible frequencies of the second note which is letter B 258 Hertz or 266 Hertz question 7 which of the following pairs of instruments have resonant frequencies at each whole number multiple of the lowest frequency at each whole number it means that it has a harmonic from 1 2 3 4 and so on okay it doesn't skip uh, any of the harmonics so we know that an open pipe okay an open pipe and a clamped string okay they have harmonics which are whole numbers and each of the numbers are represented so the answer here should be letter B okay and you have to remember that clamped string the clamp string let's say for example here is your wall and there's another wall and your string will be producing waves and you will have nodes and antinodes like this it will look like this but if we have an open pipe the open pipe also will have similar similar waves produced inside it I hope I'm doing it correctly it, they look the same basically therefore 
uh, they are they have the same harmonics letter B is the answer question number eight and this is the ex extended answer it means that it's a higher order thinking skill and let me have um, in the answer key the answer was given as 8.38 meters per second okay let's see if this is correct or not because I have an issue with that answer okay so the figure below shows the first resonance length of a closed air column if the frequency of the sound is 400 488 Hertz the frequency is 488 Hertz so it's quite fast what's the speed of the sound the V is unknown we're looking for that and we are given the length of the column which is L is equal to 16.8 centimeters of course we have to change that to meters will be equal to 0 0.168 meters you have to divide it by 100 okay this is a closed pipe closed air col column is a closed pipe so we are looking for the first harmonic of this the lambda 1 of a closed pipe is 4L and the frequency produced is equal to the frequency of the first harmonic of a closed pipe is V over lambda 1 okay the lambda 1 being equal to 4L therefore we have the formula V over 4L okay that's our formula so F of the first harmonic of a closed pipe is equal to V over 4L we're looking for V so rearranging this we have V is equal to 4L F1 okay multiply 4 times the length is it's 0 0.168 multiplied to the frequency F1 okay 488 Hertz now use using our calculator we'll be able to get the number V is <clears throat> equal to 327.9 meters per second so this is the answer then why is the answer in the answer key here now you have to think sound is quite fast if it is produced you instantly hear it so you you know that it is fast okay the velocity of the sound is fast the speed of sound is fast it's almost instantaneous you hear it immediately as soon as it is produced now look at this answer 8.38 meters per second is impossible because sound is fast it's um next to light as we know therefore the speed of light is quite fast and of course speed of sound is quite fast as well which is 327.9 all right this answer will not be correct i think even if it's in the answer key sometimes you have to think that sometimes uh, uh, answer keys are not um, correct at all so you just have to trust how you solve the problem okay so 327.9 some of you already have asked, asked me a question about this. Why is my answer this one and the answer key is 8.38? Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. You're correct. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next video if we still have one. And good luck to your exams.